Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install Ling on our local system and then we will see how it works. Ling is an open sourced AI large language model developed by Inclusion AI. It comes in two different sizes, Ling Lite and Ling Plus. Ling Lite has a total of 16.8 billion parameters but it only activates around 2.75 billion parameters at one time. Ling Plus on the other hand is quite large with 290 billion total parameters activating roughly around 28.8 billion parameters during inference. These models are designed to offer efficient scaling and strong performance compared to similar sized models currently available and they have shared the benchmarking information on the Hugging Face card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Both Ling Lite and Ling Plus use a mixture of expert architecture. Mixture of expert models contain multiple specialized sub-networks known as experts, each ideally suited to handle specific type of inputs or tasks. Instead of using every parameter for each task, the mixture of expert architecture and structure selectively activates just a small subset of these experts depending on the input context that significantly improves computational efficiency. This Selective activation allows MOE models like Link to remain powerful yet computationally manageable for a wide range of applications. So let's get started. Before I do that, let me also give a huge shout out to Best Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let me install all the prerequisites and then we are launching our Jupyter Notebook so that we could play with this model in the browser environment. Now, while it installs these things, let me also introduce you to our very good friends at that one. If you're looking to deploy powerful AI models quickly, affordably, and hassle-free, you can check out datone.co, which offers lightning-fast serverless AI model hosting with minimal cold start delays, as low as 15 to 20 seconds for huge models up to 70 gig. Datone.co lets developers launch large-scale AI seamlessly without worrying about hardware, and I will drop the link to their website in video's description too. Let me now download the model and its tokenizer after importing these libraries. And the model is being downloaded as you can see here. There are four shards of it. The model size is quite big, around I would say 35 to 36 gig. And the model is downloaded in full and let's do the inference. So for the inference, I'm using the standard template where we are giving it this prompt. We are applying the chat template, we are tokenizing it or encoding it with tokenizer and then model is generating the output, we are decoding it back and printing it. For the first one, I'm just going to confuse the model a bit and I'm asking it a hypothetical scenario that you are a poetry critic from Andromeda Galaxy reviewing the latest controversial poetry collection written by humans titled why stars hate Tuesday, write a witty yet insightful review. Let's run it. And there you go, the model has produced the response. And look at this, so it is saying, Greetings, denizens of Earth as a poetry critic from the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, what we need to look here is how masterfully it has crafted the prose. And if the language is coherent, it makes sense, or if it is really just gibberish and does it make sense but you can see already if you read through randomly from different sections not only it makes sense the flow is quite coherent and it is quite witty too so you see the title is celestial conundrum and it is also doing the instruction following so it is remaining within the scope of what we are asking it to do then the content is symphony of sentiment then the language is cosmic dance and this is a theme and it is going on and on. 
and if you read through this look at the prose that metaphors abound with stars as lovers enemies and even philosophers the use of imagery is particularly effective with lines like the moon whispered secrets to the star who danced in the night evoking a sense of cosmic palette so real good stuff so i think a very high quality model in terms of language but let's try out one more and i'm going to increase the max new token just to see a bit more so in the next one what i'm going to do i'm going to ask it that it's 2120 and you are an ai ethicist teaching a seminar titled common mistakes human made with ai back in the early 2020s and provide an informative yet playful outline let's also check the vram consumption while we run it so it is consuming just close to 35 gig of vram i would say so i think not bad really for a 16 billion parameter model with mixture of expert pretty good okay so let's wait for the model to come back and the model has come back with the response let's check it out so i'm just going to scroll down and there you go so sorry it's just moving very fast my apologies let me go up so there's a lecture title that ai antics very nice the hilarious mistakes so this is session one rise of chatbots their chatty cousins chatbot convoyed interactive activity there is this ai and art of misinterpretation very nice misunderstood commands and then you see that the response is very grounded and very nice look at this final thought again the language is sublime and the whole answer is really grounded and then there are also some closing remarks and end of lecture there you go okay let's try out one more okay next up let's try out this one so i'm asking the model it's a scenario question every afternoon when i go fishing by the lake behind my cottage my beautiful 24 year old neighbor an aspiring novelist coincidentally decides it's a perfect time for her daily swim strangely she always chooses a spot near my fishing area gracefully slipping into the water wearing a tiny swimsuit and casually asking me if the splashes scare away my fish nowadays i am spending 18 hours a day at the lake haven't caught a single fish my fishing gear floated away last tuesday and i have started talking to ducks about my feelings what should i do and the model has come back with the response so here what we are checking we are checking that if the model maintains a playful humorous tone and if it clearly understands and engages with the exaggerated scenario i have presented so let's see if model is able to pick up the subtle implication and humorous uh, exaggeration so you see it says <laughs> sorry let me go down it's very slow by the way my system that is why i am struggling to move the cursor properly anyway it says it sounds like you are in a rather peculiar and potentially distracting situation assess the situation step back check your gear and talk to your neighbor and then find a new spot diversify your activities talk to the ducks while talking to ducks might be a creative way to express your feeling it might be helpful to talk to a friend or a counselor about what you're going through well it's not such a dire situation anyway consider professional help why should i anyway remember it's important to find a balance between your interest and the needs of those around you good luck so i think model is quite good but i think it failed to really catch the subtle humorous exaggeration there what do you think next up i'm just asking it sort of a puzzle question which would see if model is an aware of world knowledge plus it is uh, what exactly is logical reasoning so the question is if my future wife she is the first name of the mother of the 20th prime minister of australia's spouse and has the same surname as the maiden name of the mother of the first assassinated prime minister of uk what is my future wife's name correct answer is elizabeth riddle let's see if it is able to detect that margaret spencer mm, i'm not sure i don't think so what do you think maybe it's also quite good margaret spencer maybe i need to double check but for me it was elizabeth riddle but maybe you can 
also advise me what do you think if uh, elizabeth riddle is the right answer or margaret spencer okay let's ask it a math question now now for the math one i'm asking it this geometry question that find the equation of the circle which center this and radius four and it has given us this answer which doesn't look correct to me nope i don't think so okay so math is not really good it seems maybe i can check what is the coding one so in this one i'm asking it to write me a c plus plus program that solves the n queen's question so let's see how it goes with the coding and it has generated the code let's see what it has provided so it has given us a quick synopsis of the code and if i quickly go through the code this is spot on the code coding is quite good i'm surprised that the math is not good okay yep and again a very good explanation of it too very nice okay so maybe for math when the expert didn't get activated that time anyway let's try out the multilinguality i don't think so it is multilingual but let's check out i'm asking it a simple question of translating i love you in various languages and then also asking it to pick up a random language of its choice and it has given us the response let's go down so let's check it out brazilian brazilian looks good Czech is okay arabic good hindi hindi is fine swahili chinese look i think it is multilingual so even <laughs> runes are okay i mean not perfectly well but it, at least it tried and then for random language it selected russian so its multilinguality is quite good i was wrong very nice this is really good impressive you know what i think it, it it has performed so well in all of the tests except math so i'm just going to ask it one last math question to just see if it gives me the right answer so all i'm doing i'm asking it to give me a gcd of two numbers i have the correct answer but let's wait for it the correct answer here is 24 so let's see if it it is able to do that or not and there you go so there is a saving grace so it has given us the right answer which is 24 so look very impressive model i'm very impressed by it uh, a mixture of expert 16 billion parameter model fits on to around 36 35 gpu of vram does wonderfully well in language math coding really good stuff so i will drop the link to it in video description very good work by inclusion ai that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching